Shalom. Kohlein la Yehawah, Bahashim, Yehawah Shai, Bahashim Harakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to the whole four like scattered across the earth. This is your brother Ila coming to you with another lesson. And um <clears throat> this will be a re, you know, or you can say a land back off of um a video that the elder if I'm not mistaken, you know he's an elder. Right, but um you know, the elder Amawanga Bar or brother Amawanga Bar, I'm not sure which one. Uh had put up which this is uh two from two days ago and it's entitled Jay Goon Trip Out When They Can't Find Our Videos a prime example of famine of hearing the word, you know. And um, let me see real quick. So, yeah. You know, because a lot of, you know, brothers channels get clipped, videos get, uh, you know, hid from, you know, um, you know, from popping up. But, uh, yeah, you know. And uh, within this video, the elder apostle Tahar, let me see real quick. The elder apostle Tahar, if I'm not mistaken, typed in Mark of the Beast. And none of our video, uh, well, <laughs> none of the videos of Great Millstone came up, you know. And there's a reason for that, as the elder apostle Tahar mentioned, you know, this is not a coincidence, right? This is a doing of Esau, you know, and this is like, like the, um, like the, uh, I'm not sure if he's a brother or elder, but like the brother Amawanga Bar had put, you know, in, within the title, a prime example of famine of hearing the word. This is a prime example, man, you know? Right, but um, you know, she's getting straight into it. Um, I want to go to Isaiah thirty-three and six. You know, because uh, they got that saying, which the brother also mentioned. This also, um, damn, I forgot. You don't know how good it. It, it how I don't know yeah I forgot something 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 until it's gone you know right but um Isaiah 33 and 6 and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation the fear of the Lord is his treasure and that's why we should be increasing you know, in the knowledge, you know, of our power. Because once again, wisdom and knowledge is what's going to be our stability, you know, in these times. All right, Second Peter 3 and 17. Ye therefore, beloved, seeing ye know these things before, but where lest ye also, being led away with the error of the wicked, fall from your own steadfastness. Verse 18. But grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, to him be glory both now and forever, Amen. You see? So that's what you want to do. You want to grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord. You see? Because you want, you're going to want to be as stable as you can be. You know? Which that stability will be driven from the wisdom and knowledge you know, of this word, you know, right, but, uh, 
uh, going to Matthew. Let's see what this is. Yeah. Oh, um, let me see. Oh, let me see. What's that scripture? Of whom they have not heard. Yep. All right, Romans chapter 10 and verse 14. How then shall they, matter of fact, 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? You see? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. You see that? Right? Jumping down to verse 17, so then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of the Most High. And we're going to have to exercise extreme faith as never have we, uh, as we have never done before, you know. You know. Because it's going to get hard as shit out here. Right. Uh, let me get Proverbs 24 and 3. And these are uh, scriptures that I have written down. Yep. Proverbs 24 and 3. Through wisdom is in house builded, and by understanding it is established. And what's another word for being established? You know, I, I think of stable. You know? So by our understanding, we're, by, or by the wisdom and knowledge, we're going to be stable in these times. That's what's going to keep us stable. You know, Lord willing, we be of those, you know, we be of the elect. Right, Luke chapter 6 and verse 46. Um, let me see. No, but let me go to the, the main, you know. Brothers, uh, tennis, pull the scripture, Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a uh, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Which that's not to say that famine of bread and famine of, you know, that's not to say that famine of bread and thirst for water isn't going to come. No, that's going to come. But this particular famine spoken of in Amos 8 and 11 on down is speaking of famine of the word. All right. And they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. And that day shall the fair virgins and young men faint for thirst. Thirst for what? Thirst for hearing the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh That's why it's important to uh, do it now, man, you know. Remember thou thy remember thou the thy creator in the days of thy youth while the evil's day while the evil days come not. You know. That's why, you know, you shouldn't you're not uh, you know, put off the Lord from day to day. Yeah, Ecclesiastes 5 and 7, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. You see? Let me go to, um, let me see real quick, 7, 6, and 24. Okay. Second of this five and eight. Yeah, here we go. Second edges five and eight. 
there shall be a confusion also in many places, and the fire shall be off sent out again, and the wild beasts shall change their places, and mischievous women shall bring forth monsters, and salt water shall be found in the sweet, and all friends shall destroy one another. Then shall wit, which wit is understanding, hide itself, and understanding will draw itself into a secret chamber, and shall be sought of many, and yet not be found. Then shall unrighteousness and incontinency be multiplied upon the earth, upon earth, which incontinency is going into lack of self-control, if I'm not mistaken. One man also shall ask another and say, Is righteousness that maketh the man righteous going through thee? And it shall say no. Right, and let me just look up that word of incontinency. <coughs> Salapia, incontinency, definition. Lack of voluntary control, lack of self restraint. There you go. Self control. You see it? Control, constraint, restriction, control. You see? So, you know, just a quick hitter. Let me see where we're at. Yeah, 11 minutes. And uh, some change. Yeah, you know. <laughs> So uh, with that, Lord willing, you are edified. Call Halanila Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Harakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to the whole four legs scattered across the earth. See you in the next lesson, Lord willing. Wa Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Babu Kasha Abad Babar Wa Shalom.